Happy Veterans Day, everybody. My name is Matt Tumor, and uh, what I'd like to do is welcome you to my home here in the lovely city of Chesapeake, Virginia, and bring some messages about being an American veteran. Uh, I like to use the analogy of running the Olympic torch. When someone serves in the military, a lot of times it's it's thankless service, it's long hours, it's out. You know, in different type of places, just like someone running the Olympic torch through a rural place where maybe no one's watching. And then some people run it through downtown Manhattan or run it into the Olympic Stadium in Athens. Anyway, everyone that's running it, though, is important because it's, it's that link, those bonds that draw us together, make us a group that it's solid and important to America. So I've chosen Veterans Day to launch a series of discussions that will surround veterans issues anything from education to buying a new home to to issues of health and mental health and I'm gonna try to put one out for you every week and at some point I'll probably put an email address out there for people if, if you want to have questions answered um, but today since it's Veterans Day I just want to have a little bit of fun and uh, um, one of the things that, that I, as a veteran, have enjoyed over my lifetime are war movies. And so uh, I'm going to go through my list of my top ten favorite war movies. And uh, um, I promise you that within that list, there's no Polly Shore movie and there is uh, no mention of Forrest Gump. But I'm, I'm going to start with my number 10 favorite war movie. It's a, it's a comedy. It's awesome. Uh, it's, it's Jack Black's tour de force with, uh, Ben Stiller. It's Tropic Thunder. If you've not seen it, I encourage it. Uh, not necessarily great for the kids, but, uh, it's, it's a laugh out loud movie. Um, I, I don't know how much you'd call this a war movie, but I, I'm a big fan of Clear and Present Danger. There's uh, some tech in it that my job in the Army, like, mirrored. So I, it's a personal favorite of mine. Uh, this one, a lot of people are going to think I should put much closer to number one, but uh, Hacksaw Ridge is just a fantastic movie. If you've not seen it, uh, be, be ready to be amazed. Um, I love the movie... Walking Tall, and I love the remake with The Rock. Um, it just it typifies the quiet confidence that that a soldier can bring to his community. Um, number five on my list, I have The Deer Hunter. Uh, man, the great actors in it, Christopher Walken and, and, and Robert De Niro, just amazing, amazing, amazing movie uh it's it's a it's got a real sadness to it but i encourage everyone to watch that one as well um i didn't put a whole lot of world war ii movies on the list but i, I did uh i did put the dirty dozen um i love the ensemble i love the the tough guys in it it's a it's a movie that I really enjoyed, and I haven't watched it in a long time. I think I may watch it again this weekend. Um, number three, and it was hard for me to put this at number three, is Apocalypse Now. Again, if you want to see a, an ensemble of just fantastic actors, and you want to see a movie that captures an essence Please, 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 I encourage you, watch Apocalypse Now. My second favorite one, and, and again, rating these back and forth is, is really difficult. Um, it's Saving Private Ryan. I remember when I first saw it, the opening scene just made my, my heart race. It's... It's such a touching movie. It's based on a, a true story, like several of these are, and it is it is 
worth watching. Um, I am not a Tom Hanks fan, but I think he's done wonderful things, not just with that movie, but keeping a lot of the remembrance of World War II alive. Uh, my number one favorite, and it's for some very personal reasons, is the movie Platoon. Um, my dad and I went and saw it uh, when I was between basic and AIT. Uh, it is a fantastic movie. The music, the sound, the sights, the explosions, the the interpersonal relationships and the narration is just a wonderful way to capture what I think it was like to be in an infantry platoon. Um, I, of course, am not an infantryman. I'm a forward observer, but I spent much, much, much time with the 82nd in the woods. Um, that's it. Those are my 10 favorite or movies for you to, to chew on on Veterans Day. Um, my, my hope is that you're entertained. I also hope that you come up with your own list because certainly this is not an inclusive list. Um, I want to thank God because I have had the pleasure to serve in units with some of the, the best people alive. I've actually made a a bunch of phone calls to people that I hadn't talked to in a while, um, including my one of my old commanders. And if if you haven't reached out to one of your veteran friends today that, that you're thinking about, pick up the phone, call them, let them know that you're, you're thinking about them on this Veterans Day. The very last thing I'll leave you with is there was a time that I was really bothered by the phrase, Thank you for your service. And as I've matured, I understand it more now. And when I say thank you for your service, I mean it from the bottom of my heart. Uh, I come from a family. My dad was in the Army. My younger brother's in the Army. My uncles, my grandfathers, the, the friends that I hold dear come from all branches of service. And then our family from my kids to my mom and dad and, and everyone that has supported me, I, I want to say thank you. And I, I want to thank all of my, uh, my friends that I've served with and brothers, sisters too. Thank you. Good night.